Alright, I just finished watching Tiger King, Joe Exotic, and I just needed to know his chart. Like, I needed to know. So I looked it up, and I'm going to do a little reading for y'all, because I think it would be fun. So, to start off, Joe Exotic is a Pisces Sun, Cancer Moon, Aquarius Mercury, Aquarius Venus, Leo Mars, Aquarius Saturn, uh, Pisces Jupiter, Neptune Scorpio, you know, it goes on, it goes on. I'm gonna lay it all out for you. So to start off, as Dylan, Joe's third husband in the show, explains to us, Joe is very, very sensitive and he's a very affectionate man. You know, he just like needs someone to hold him. Cancer moons, they just like, they need nurturing, they need someone who cares, like they need to be held. Joe. Joe's a very watery, sensitive guy. But he does have his Mars and Leo. And Leo is the lion of the zodiac. A big cat, you could say. And Mars is where we derive our passion. So for Joe, his passion, his will to live is really it comes from all of his cats. Like, it comes from his cats. Joe really just, he's passionate about cats. And Leo is also the kind of like most performative sign of the zodiac. They really thrive on an audience. Joe is a very performative guy. He's not gonna really do something unless it is for an audience. This is why he has his internet TV show. This is why he is the way he is. You know, he's a very performative dude. Nothing wrong with that. We need Leos in our lives, you know? Um, so he's very passionate. Mars and Leo is kind of like a big ego, you know? And this is emphasized by his Jupiter-Sun conjunction in Pisces. So Jupiter rules expansion and beliefs. It's kind of like the Zeus of the Zodiac, you know? King status. Anything that it touches, it's going to expand. So when it touches your Sun, which is your ego and sense of self, you're gonna find someone with like a very overblown ego. Um, Joe? believes he is the Tiger King. He's very invested in this fantasy. It's in Pisces, so fantasy, you know? All right, I'm gonna get into his aspects a little bit. So Joe's got a grand trine in water signs. A grand trine is an aspect formation that's made up of three planets that all trine each other. So they make like a equilateral triangle. And each planet is 60 degrees apart, which is a trine. So a trine is considered a harmonious aspect, very easy flowing energy. Um, and he's got this trine between his Neptune and Scorpio, Moon and Cancer, and Jupiter and Pisces. Or Jupiter, Sun, conjunction and Pisces. Because they're like, they're close to each other. They're besties. So I'm going to start off with explaining his Neptune and Scorpio. So Neptune rules illusion, it rules fantasy, uh, and in Scorpio, which is a very passionate and intense, sometimes obsessive sign, he's going to be very, very invested in his fantasies, in his illusions. And when this trines, which is like, remember that easy energy flow to his Sun and Jupiter and Pisces, he's going to be very invested in this fantasy of him as the Tiger King, you know? Um, Mars and Leo, which is not involved in this trine because it's a fire sign, is also very like, I'm the king, you know? 
I'm the king. And I know it. So, back to the trine, though. He's got that Neptune Scorpio. He's got that Jupiter Sun Pisces conjunction. And these form a trine. And then they both trine over to his moon in Cancer. So your moon represents your basic needs. It's like your emotions, your reactions. <laughs> it's just all, all goes to show he's very, very invested in his fantasies. He's a pure escapist at heart, you know, like, sorry, I just saw something out the window. All right, outside of this grand trine, he's got his son, which is his ego, conjunct within a few degrees of his Chiron asteroid. Chiron is considered the wounded healer asteroid. To, I guess, sum it up, it's basically based on this myth of a centaur who is like stabbed and made immortal at the same time. So he has this like eternal wound that can never heal. It's like he's just being stabbed over and over and over again for eternity because he's immortal now. But it's like, it's kind of like a shit situation, you know, like it sucks, but it's called the wounded healer for a reason, you know, like he uses this like pain, this experience to be able to like help other people. So everyone has a Chiron, wherever you have Chiron in your chart shows where this eternal wound in your life is and kind of shows like where you have the ability to really like heal others. So it's cool. It sucks, but it's cool, you know. So for him, it's right next to his son, which is his ego. So he identifies very, very strongly with his pain. And because it's in Pisces, there's like a huge element of escapism here for him. His whole chart is like very, very Neptunian, very Piscean energy, just like, whew, not in reality. Let's just say that. Pisces are not always the best at being grounded in reality, you know? We need them, we need Pisces. We all got Pisces in our chart somewhere. But yeah, not, not the best at being grounded. I'm gonna just leave it at that. So this Sun Chiron conjunction is directly opposite his Pluto and Virgo. Pluto is the planet of power, destruction, intense, rebirths and when you have any sun pluto contacts you're gonna have a very very strong will like you will do anything to get what you want you will go through any means it's like and justifies the means that's every time he is a very very passionate guy so the interesting thing about this is Carol Baskin is a Gemini. Makes sense, right? Um, she's kind of sus. But anyway, so Carol Baskin's a Gemini, and Gemini forms a square aspect to both Pisces and Virgo, where Joe Exotic's Sun and Pluto are. So basically, this represents conflict. Uh, squares are 90 degree aspects which are considered tense, hard aspects, very conflictual. So with Pluto in the mix, Joe's going to be so passionate about this rivalry. Like, Joe is so, so invested in this rivalry. Like, he will go to crazy, sorry, very intense extremes in the name of I'm gonna say in the name of Pluto but I don't think he knows about astrology he's like eh. but it's a very like plutonic thing to like try to threaten to kill someone you know that's that's plutonian let's get into his notes so I don't think a lot of people know about their notes but really interesting kind of represents your like 
karmic debts in this lifetime. So they're not actually real planets or astral bodies, but they are the two points where the moon's orbit overlaps with the Earth's orbit. And everyone has a north and a south node. Your south node represents kind of what you came into this lifetime already being good at, the skills, the gifts that you inherently have. And your north node represents what you need to work on to relieve yourself of karmic debts or just like be successful, you know. So Joe's biggest mistake in all of this was not following his north node. Like, if he had an astrologer, this... <sighs> well, if he had an astrologer, we wouldn't have had Tiger King to watch, so... I guess it's all for the entertainment. Anyway, Joe's south node is in Capricorn and his north node is in Cancer. Capricorn is a sign that represents materialism, achievement, recognition, and Cancer is a sign that represents nurturing. So Joe's biggest mistake was like getting all caught up in the money, in the political campaigns, in the, the ego, the recognition, and like what he should have been really focusing on was like taking care of the animals, you know, like being a good zookeeper. <sighs> Seriously. It's in the stars, bro. One more thing about Joe Exotic. He's got his Venus in Aquarius. So he's very attracted to unconventional relationships, hence his polygamy situation. So Joe's got his Venus at the first degree of Aquarius, which is interesting because currently in the stars right now, as I speak, Saturn is at the first degree of Aquarius. Saturn is the planet of restriction, restructuring. Saturn transits are hard. They kind of suck. It's not easy because it kind of gets rid of everything in your life that isn't really working. So with Saturn transiting his Venus, his marriage is not going to last. Like, I don't know. If Dylan hasn't left him already, like, it's happening right now as I speak. It's not going to last. I'm sorry, Joe. Not going to work out. Alright, this has been fun. You can like the video if you liked it. Bye!